Hello everyone, this is CR Game Scott, and we are playing Police Quest 2. You might hear that jazzy music in the background that we, uh, I believe, left off with last time. And I guess it is to indicate that we are hot on the trail of um, uh, Jesse Bain, so uh, as much as I'd like to dis like to uh, uh, continue there, well, it's time to actually leave the bathroom. I guess the music actually continues despite leaving. So let's turn that down a little um, and uh, talk to this fellow. May I help you, sir? Asked the ticket agent. <clears throat> uh. Yes. But, uh. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Um. We are. Alright, the jazzy music has ended. And, uh, we actually don't want to talk to that, that guy as he's actually dealing with a ticket counter. Uh, what we want to do is we want to talk to the, uh, car rental company. And let's talk to woman. Help you, sir, asked the agent. Show ID. You flash your badge at the top head agent, and he says, Oh no, is my boss in trouble again? Uh, that was supposed to be a woman. Anyway, um, show mugshot. You sure the mugshot of Baines? Nope, I've never seen the man before, but he sure looks like he ought to be locked up. Ask for list. Yes, sir, officer, here are all the car rental agreements for last week. Top hat representative slowly hands you the car rental agreements. You carefully look over each car rental agreement. Unable to find anything helpful, you return them to the agent. Alright. Uh, I guess that's what's supposed to happen. I thought it might be something more. Yeah, I guess that's all. I don't know why exactly we did that, but... Um, as you probably can guess, I am using the walkthrough. All right, so we're not going to make the same mistake this time. I'm going to press the button. You push the button, activating the traffic control light. You can now safely cross the street. All right, we get points both time we do that. So, all right. Looks like while well, you're gone, they came and towed the stolen car away. Keith informs you. Okay. So, folks, uh, if you have not tuned in before, which would be odd, uh, we are playing Police Quest 2, I'm Sierra Game Scott, and um, we are heading back to the Lytton Police Station now. Wait for me, Sonny. So we've done what we can here at the Lytton Airport. We'll we actually be back here for a lot more um, to do later on in the game, but for the time being, it's time to drive to station. He frowns, okay, says, I have mucho paperwork to finish. For what? Uh, we do not know. Keith grabs the mic and calls dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2 is 10-8 from Linden Airport. Dispatch comes on the air and responds. 53 Mary 2, 10-4. Dispatch copies 10-4, 10-8 from Linden Airport. Keith keys the mic. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, be advised, we're en route to the office. Dispatch answer is 53 Mary 2, 10-4, we copy you. Are en route to the office. On the way back to the office, Keith says, Man, that Bunk Baines is a slick rat, isn't he? Can we talk to Keith? Keith takes another draft from his cigarette. You're always bugging me about my smoking, Sonny, but I know you're not serious, are you? Yes, I am. Keith sniffs the air and says, Gracious me, buddy boy, you've got the car smelling like a rose garden. What you gonna do with that foliage? Keith asks. Oh. Can we tell about Rose? I don't know if they'll let you do that. Okay, never mind. 53 Mary 2, 10 7 at the office. Dispatch responds 53 Mary 2, 10 4. Dispatch copies 10 97 at the office. Alright. So here we are. After getting out of that car, Keith says, Man, I'm glad to get out of that there. It smells like cam uh, Camel Arena. Alright. Okay, so we're back here. Now we have some evidence to hand over, I believe. So this is where you do it, and uh, Big Chan says, I hear Baines has escaped. I wonder where he'll go. Give evidence. Uh, taking notes, John mutters, check four and identity prints on enclosed four. Yeah, okay, the gun. Uh, mumbles under his breath, request identification of prints on enclosed fingerprint found in the deceased car. Uh, yeah, alright, so I'm not going to read all these things, but you know what we have, and I'll, I'll leave it on the screen for a little bit, if you really want to read it. Yeah, 
And it looks like we get points for every one of these. Alright, so he said we were a busy guy, which uh, undoubtedly we were. Uh, do we want to get some fresh ammo? I wonder if we can. Okay, well I guess you probably don't need it. There's not too much shooting that goes on the game. Alright, well we've got a couple things to do here, so how would I take a second to review that so I don't waste your time, and then we'll be right back. Okay, there's one thing I didn't do earlier on. I guess you probably do it later. I wouldn't even know to do it earlier on, but uh, we're going to handle that right now. And, alright, so no one's really saying anything. Let's sit at the computer. No, turn on computer. I guess we don't need to really sit. Turn on computer. And this is actually how I learned to use DOS. Alright, look at computer. Because I do remember looking at the manual for this one that, um, that you um, have to learn what to type in. And I really didn't know what to type in a command prompt because I had no idea what. Uh, well, this isn't exactly how DOS works, but normally you type in CD space whatever the directory is, but very similar. All right, criminal, and then CD, which is change directory, of course. And we're going to vice, which is the vice department, even though there is vice. Uh, my password equals Miami, as in Miami Vice, no doubt. All right, CD once again, and we want to go to the personnel file. Password is pistachio. Not exactly sure why that one's the password for that, but. And. Der. And that gives us all the list of directories, which I guess you could do that um, for any of them if you didn't really know what it was. I just had the, had the directories in front of me. Okay. And we want to go and look up uh, Officer Pratt, who was the guy who was killed at. Der. Well, we found his body. I guess you're supposed to know it's this beforehand, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, his name is Pratt, and was wounded in the line of duty while uh, some wound who had been gunfire, fugitive, been hit in the right leg, returned fire, and mortally wounded the suspect. Alright, well, that's just a lot of things on him. I don't really know what that has to do with anything. And... Well, let's get out of here then. Exit. Session complete. So that's somewhat how you use DOS, I guess. Anything to say to the captain? Not now, please. I'm eating my ice cream. So he likes his ice cream. As you pass the desk, captain says, Wait, Bonds, leave the unmarked keys here. You drop the keys on his desk and hurry out the door. You've done your work for a day, Bonds. Captain Hall declares you're off duty as of now. Okay. Well, that's still going down here. I think this is narcotics. Look. Yep. Uh, ask about investigation. This guy is on the phone. I'm not sure if he's actually the right one. Well, tell Lloyd about ongoing internal affairs investigation. You beg him to stop using drugs. In a clearer voice, Lloyd responds to you. Sonny, you are a true friend. I didn't realize how bad off I was until I woke up yesterday morning and didn't know where I was. I've made up my mind, Lloyd continues. Today I'm putting in for a leave of absence. Then I'm going to check myself into a rehabilitation center. Leaving Lloyd, you wish him all the best. Luck in the world. You know he has made the correct decision. Well, that's rather tangential to the, uh, the rest of our quest. Uh, I'm sure when you confront a drug addict too, especially one whose career is on the line, he, that's exactly how he responds, uh, undoubtedly. Um, well, we were getting close to the end. I'm sorry, that was a very uneventful video, uh, and um, I'm, I'll promise to pick it up right away so I can have this out quickly for you, and hopefully it'll be up on the next video. And obviously, the upload time and my uh, recording times, or at least uh, the chronology, don't always match exactly, but uh, uh, I'll try to get these up quite uh, soon in order. So anyway, uh, that was just sort of a side quest. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to know about that. I think it may have been the Pratt file, but I didn't read that well enough. Anyway, I apologize if this was a little bit of a disjointed video. Uh, hopefully we'll have a more interesting one next time. Until then, this is CR Game Scott. We're playing Police Quest 2.